Hey guys and welcome back to another vlog. So we've literally just had probably the busiest half an hour ever. So we was planning on throwing a little party, just me and Cole. So I went to the shop because I was just going to get him like some juice and a few snacks to have for the party. So it's literally nothing exciting. We're in lockdown. Um, and we're just going to put a bit of music on Spotify, wear something nice. Um... And the shop wasn't open, so that was fun. We've just had our food shop in delivery, so we've got stuff in now that we can just nibble on and things like that. And Cole's got quite a bit of juice and different things that he can have. And then on our way back from the shop, I saw a Tesco van and I thought to myself, that's got to be ours. So we had to run. <laughs> I'm heavily pregnant, running with a toddler that <laughs> thought it was hilarious. It's honestly not the way I wanted to start my Monday. My feet are killing. I've had to quickly put away all the food shopping. And I need, I feel like I need to sit down for a year and I wish I was joking. So yeah, we've got all the food shopping now, thank goodness. All of it's in. Hopefully I can sit down for a few minutes and have a little bit of peace because I need it. But yeah, thank God, full cupboards now, full fridge, full freezer, full freezer to the point that I can't even shove anything in there. So yeah, all done, thank goodness, and hopefully we can rest for a little bit now and get on with the day a little bit later on because I need to rest. I feel like I've been non-stop all day. So whilst we was at the shop, we had a few deliveries. I say a few, there's three here. So I'm going to open them on camera because why not is cole's pajamas he has got some george pig pajamas let me see what size they're in two to three they're definitely not going to fit him anytime soon and then these are the things i've been waiting for for the longest time and it is my paintbrushes because i recently brought some gloss which i mentioned on a video but never actually got any paintbrushes so now i can start glossing which Again, I'm so glad about because it really needs to get done. And when the baby's here, I'm probably not going to want to do it. Even though, thinking about it right now, I still don't want to do it. But it needs to get done. So, we're going to do it. And then this is his little game. Not really sure what this is. It's Little Bus Lotto. Um, again, not really sure on how you play this or anything. But, nevertheless, it's a game. I'm sure he'll love it. So that is all of the parcels that we've got now. I do have another parcel coming later on, which I will show you. And I've also had my forms back because a very exciting cold passport came the other day. And I was so happy about it because it's literally been the biggest struggle ever to get them their passports. I say them, I've only got one child at the minute. Um, but yeah, it's honestly been so hard because I've had a name change, so I've needed all my documents for Cole, and it's just honestly been a disaster. So, yeah, I am now sending all of it back um, to them again, because obviously they've gave me back his forms and things, but I now need to send them all back, because I need to send off my passport. We've done it all online, so I only need to send off my documents. But yeah, hopefully I'll send that off by the end of this week. And I also need to sort out the hospital bag because I've still not done that. But hopefully by the time you guys are watching this, I've figured out a way to sort the hospital bag. And the video will be coming soon. Because I know I'm only 31 weeks and I've got 9 weeks to go. But that's literally nothing. So yeah, very exciting. But also very stressful because I don't feel prepared in the slightest. So yeah. I feel like I'm gasping for it because I've just been that busy and it's constantly been go, go, go. And then I came to sit down and then Cole had crushed um, his cake all over the floor. So I had to make sure I didn't sit in it. Now I've got to go and clean up all the cake that is put on the floor. And yeah, very stressful. But I'm going to sort all of this out and put it all away and hopefully... Also tidy up some of the living room because I'm gonna, I, th I have been thinking about this. I'll update you more in a few vlogs if I do do anything. 
But I wanted to move around the living room and obviously I do feel like it's probably the best idea to get somebody to help me because if I don't get someone to help me, it's probably going to be a disaster. I think I'm going to get someone to help me move around the living room at some point before the baby arrives because I just feel like there's just not enough room and where I'm sitting, we have the sofa here. It doesn't make much sense because the TV is right in front of me so you'd have to be constantly like turning to watch the TV. But it just makes more sense to have the sofa here because then they can have all their toys over there and they can have more space in general for their toys and we're just going to have more room. And I feel like with the sofa being there, yeah, it looks like it's in a good place. The living room looks fine, but there's just not a lot of space and with two kids, you're going to need space. So yeah, that is my little haul for now. I'll show you my delivery that I get a little bit later on. And you guys will see why I'm very excited to get that one. So, yeah, hopefully things start to come together soon because I honestly just feel like everything is just a little bit too much at the minute. And I'm trying my hardest to do everything I can, but it is very, very hard. And I've only got nine weeks left. I potentially could have this baby in six weeks. It's safe to have a baby from 37 weeks. Obviously, people have had, obviously, babies sooner than that, and they've been fine. But from 37 weeks, I feel like if they haven't already came, I feel like that's the time where I really need to think, look, she could come at any day, and I need to be prepared, which is why I need to sort out my hospital bag. So hopefully that video will be coming soon, because I need to get that sorted, although I don't even have a bag for her. I have the bag I use with Cole, and that's still in really good condition. So I most likely will use that, because I don't feel like I have time to get another bag. It's been constant with getting her stuff at the minute. Um, I'm still needing to get her loads of clothes. She also needs quite a lot of other stuff as well. She needs um, she needs play mats and things like that. Obviously, I understand that right at the beginning, play mats aren't going to be essential. But, yeah. I'm now going to go because I think Cole wants to play or run up the stairs or whatever he decides he wants to do. And I need to clean the cake up off the floor before it sticks to my carpet and was a huge fuss. So... Yeah, so my mum actually knew that Cole was getting a little bit bored, so she was kind enough to buy him some craft bits and pieces. So, I just wanted to show these. Oh, one fell on the floor. Um, let me know if you remember these from being a child, but who remembers these kinds of pens? I know this is not interesting at all, but I remember these so much, it literally throws me right back to my childhood. And these are PJ Masks, which he actually really enjoys watching. But these are literally what I remember from my childhood and it just brings back so many memories because for me, having children is like living your childhood all over again. Like you literally get to do everything and it is so exciting. I love it. Um, Cole is currently having a nap. Um, I'm not intending to wake him up until he wakes up just because he's not been the happiest recently and I think um, his teeth potentially really are affecting him. So I'm gonna leave him to nap for as long as he desires, but obviously if it gets too late then I will wake him up. But that is what he's currently doing. I'm currently going through the living room. I'm tidying it up for when he wakes up because there is nothing worse than having a messy living room and having your kids walk around because Cole gets up very stressed when he can't like easily access something because there's things all over the floor. So I'm trying to get that sorted before he wakes up. And then we're gonna go to the shop again because I went this morning and I don't know if I mentioned it on the vlog already, but it actually wasn't open and I'm starting to get really annoyed, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm going every morning, it's meant to wake up, it's meant to open at 6.30, but it obviously hasn't been, and I'm guessing it's because they're low on stock, but they're not open until like gone 12. So I know it's open now because I saw my neighbour walk past with a bag. So wakes up, we are going to get ready and we're gonna have a little bit of a party try and take a thumbnail if that will happen i'm gonna try on the dress which i'm a little bit nervous for because obviously i'm pregnant so i'm a little bit bigger than what i usually am well a little bit i'd say a lot 
Um, so yeah, that is what I'm gonna do when he is awake. And I was gonna go to the shop and get a few snacks and things, but it wasn't open this morning. Quite cold outside. So all we're gonna do is get ready into the clothes and try and take a nice thumbnail and have a little party because why not and i just want to make him happy i want to make some amazing memories because i think we all know that coronavirus i personally don't think it's ever going to go away and it's definitely not it's come it like i was watching the news this morning and there is five new cases in wuhan in china so that's where the outbreak started um i just feel like it's a vicious circle and it's never going to end at this rate, so I'm just trying to make the best of the situation that we're in. And we are allowed a lot more outdoor freedom now. But obviously, I'm still being very careful. I mean, other people might not, but for me personally, I'm pregnant. I've got two kids, very, very young kids. One still in my womb and one that is nearly two. So I'm definitely being very careful. So we have started washing the clothes for the baby. I thought it was about time that I start washing some clothes for the baby. I am only 31 weeks and I was planning to do it at 35 weeks. But personally, I've chosen to do it this early because I have prioritised washing everything that I'm going to need for my hospital bag first. And then we can move on to all the other stuff that they've got. But I've been really panicking because... I don't know how big they're going to be so I don't know if I need first size, newborn, zero to three months so I'm going to take a variety of clothing with me to the hospital but there is a bodysuit on there and Cole actually fitted in that when he was born but I have no idea how big this baby is going to be and I have been warned that she's got long legs so that could mean anything so yeah just trying to get all that sorted so I'm doing that while he's asleep and I think I've just woke him up so that's my cue to go. So I've just set up our little buffet. Honestly, it's literally next to nothing because we honestly will waste it if we have anything else. So I've just done us some grapes, cheese puffs, biscuits, cheese savouries and some breadsticks. So that is what we're going to have as our little buffet. Again, literally next to nothing, but there's no point me putting on a big spread just for two people for none of us to eat it. Are you having a picnic? That's his little set of food he wanted, extra what's it, so he's already had quite a lot of what's it, because he likes those. Is that yummy? We just take a moment to see how cute somebody looks. So we are all ready. This dress is literally a disaster, so I'm not even going to show you. But Cole looks so adorable, so... <sighs> Let me show you again. Hey, hiya! Do you look beautiful? So, I am now going to give me and Cole a bath because... What else is there to do? So yeah, Cole absolutely loves going for a bath and I know he's gonna find this so enjoyable. More enjoyable than probably any other child. So yeah, we're gonna do that because he's already attempting to brush his teeth thinking it's morning. Can you say, uh oh. Do you like bath time? Can you wave to everybody? So I know this vlog hasn't been too interesting and probably not as long as my usual vlogs are recently. But anyway, I'm now going to go ahead and end this vlog. Hope you guys did enjoy seeing what we got up to today and I hope you are all staying safe. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please smash a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll be extremely grateful. And if you haven't already, please click that notification bell and notify every single time I upload a video and I will see you on the next video.